First reading, a reading from the prophet Isaiah, chapter 35, verses 4 to 7. Thus says the Lord, Say to those whose hearts are frightened, Be strong, fear not. Here is your God. He comes with vindication, with divine recompense. He comes to save you. Then will the eyes of the blind be opened. The ears of the deaf be cleared. Then will the lame leap like a stag. Then the tongue of the mute will sing. Streams will burst forth in the desert and rivers in the steppe. The burning sands will become pools and the thirsty ground springs of water. The word of the Lord. Second reading. A reading from the letter of James. Chapter 2, verses 1 to 5. My brothers and sisters, show no partiality, as you adhere to the faith in our glorious Lord Jesus Christ. For if a man with gold rings and fine clothes comes into your assembly, and a poor person in shabby clothes also comes in, and you pay attention to the one wearing the fine clothes, and say, Sit here, please. While you say to the poor one, Stand there, or sit at my feet, have you not made distinctions among yourself and become judges with evil designs? Listen, my beloved brothers and sisters, did not God choose those who are poor in the world to be rich in faith and heirs of the kingdom that he promised to those who love him? The word of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel. According to St. Mark, chapter 7, verse 31 to 37. Again Jesus left the district of Tyre and went by the way of Sidon to the Sea of Galilee, into the district of the Decapolis. And people brought to him a deaf man who had a speech impediment and begged him to lay his hands on him. He took him off by himself away from the crowd. He put his finger into the man's ears and, spitting, touched his tongue. Then he looked up to heaven and groaned and said to him, Ephatha, that is, be opened. And immediately the man's ears were opened. His speech impediment was removed and he spoke plainly. He ordered them not to tell anyone, but the more he ordered them not to, the more they proclaimed it. They were exceedingly astonished, and they said, He has done all things well. He makes the deaf hear and the mute speak. The Gospel of the Lord My dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children, today is the 23rd Sunday in Ordinary Time. This is also the National Youth Sunday. And we have a very special news the good news for the youngsters also. In the gospel we find Jesus meeting a man who could not hear and who could not talk. And Jesus heals him. Well, this man represents all of us. Jesus tells him not to tell about this miracle to anyone, but he spreads it. Jesus was coming down from Tyre, from Sidon, and he was coming down to Galilee. He was performing many miracles. He was curing the sick, the blind, the crippled, the deaf, and the dumb. So many incidents took place. And he was coming down to Galilee. Dear brothers and sisters, and my dear children, and very especially the youngsters, do we ever realize that sometimes we are spiritually deaf dumb and even blind? Is there a remedy for this? Can we find a medicine 
when we are spiritually not okay, we need to understand the spiritual strength of God, dear brothers and sisters. When you feel that you are spiritually not okay, you feel it, the only remedy is that you go back to Jesus or you live with Jesus. Just take a time out with Jesus. Continue in your prayers and just be present in the living faith and be with Jesus and Jesus is there to heal you. And this is the, the best remedy that we can get or we can have or we are sure to get when we really reach out to God. Sometimes that you don't really feel or you feel that you are disconnected from God. We have to connect ourselves to God. We have to be aware of it. We have to reach out to God always. Be with Him. Be with His Spirit. His Spirit is there within us. And we have seen everything God has made. The beautiful universe, the uni beautiful universe, the beautiful nature. See how powerful it is. Begin to reflect on those and also see how much of graces that you have received. See the invisible quality of God in everything, in nature and in everything, even in what you do. The power of God is there. If you find unable to talk to God, just be with God. Sometimes no words, but still just presence in, in front of the blessed sacrament will give you a real healing power. God is there. Jesus is present. His Spirit is among us. And we are called to experience this power of our living Father, living God. So with this beautiful message, dear brothers and sisters, I wish all of you a blessed Sunday. Thank you and God bless you.